Okay, hello everybody again. Um, we are here to present our Hack Day project, um, and that was all to do with jargon profiling. So the problem we're trying to solve is um, the barrier that jargon presents when you're trying to explain a concept between an expert and a non-expert. And part of that issue is that how do you know what jargon is when you're very familiar with the topic? So that's where our jargon profiler comes in. The idea behind the software is that it takes in text currently formatted for US English, it excludes pronouns, it excludes abbreviations, it excludes numbers, and any words that are shorter than uh, three letters, and then gives you a percentage score back of how much of that is not jargon. So here, a high score is a good thing, so 100% means you've got no jargon in there. Um, this isn't a completely novel concept. There are other tools out there that do similar things, but what separates our approach is that we've made use of Randall Monroe's approach. So he's the author of the Thing Explainer, where he aims to explain concepts using the 1,000 most common words. Um, and that's our basis for classifying jargon at the moment. But the extension, which we started implementing, was the idea that you could have other definitions. So you could use subject specific lists. We also downloaded Ogden's Basic English, which is the basis of the Wikipedia um, pages. It's about 800 words there. Um, and also, given that there may be some topics that if you're trying to explain them and you remove a word, so for example, if I want to explain what epigenetics is and I can't use the word epigenetics, I'm probably not going to do a very good job. So you can provide a key list of terms that will be excluded from consideration. And the ultimate goal is to provide multiple out outputs. We believe that this would have wide applications, so beyond obviously assessing my own work, it could be used by funding bodies or journals who request lay abstracts to quantify that and encourage their authors to try harder. It could be used to rate online training content and could be a complement to grammar checkers and other existing tools that are used on communication writing workshops. So I think I'll just pass on now. So just to make sure, we do have running code, and to make sure that this actually worked, we tested it on a little case study. So this was a very um, um, widely read paper published in Nature just a couple weeks ago about a new hypothesis for dinosaur relationships. The original research paper scored about 55, which means that more than half of it is going to be unintelligible to the average person. The news and views is that another scientist writing about it, that was about 59%. The editor's summary, which is aimed at sort of uh, scientific community, 61%. And then Ed Young, a very famous uh, pop science blogger, scored 67 And so this shows that you know just changing maybe 10, 15% of the words in a, uh, can have a huge impact on its understandability. Uh, and we actually, uh, Emma benchmarked this against uh, some technical abstracts and some newspaper articles, a large set of them. And, uh, there is a, a clear difference. Technical abstracts coming in around 63, newspaper articles closer to 70, 80. Emma? Emma. Okay, yeah. yeah. Uh, so we actually have a running website. Let's see. Um, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I just have to. Where is it? It's not. Yeah, maybe you can. Yeah. So we identified two parallel work streams when it came to processing. There's the front end. So our goal was to have a web kind of application front page like this. So Matthew Sumanier worked on developing this. And then at the back end, we had the actual functionality that did the, the jargon detection and the processing of the data, which was uh, managed by Emma and Jonathan. We use a GitHub repository, committing regularly um, to uh, record our good practice and so forth. Um, yeah, so we have tests, we have uh, Travis CI set up. Yeah, we have three uh, testing set up. Yeah, five tests, four tests. Uh, we have a Docker file if you want to, uh, to run it yourself without having to worry about the Python stuff. Uh, and so this is the very simple interface. Basically, uh, there is a we, like the, the box where you paste the text, but I will show you how it works actually. The, we showed the example with different pieces of text. So we have the original. Uh, paper uh, from Nature, and if I copy this and I paste it here, um, and I run the profiler, uh, I will see in red are all the complex words, and then uh, we also give badges, so the more complex the shape is, the more complex your text is, uh, <laughs> and, and then we'll try on, the, on this popular text, which was uh, in the Atlantic, uh, and we can run it here, um, yeah. So it's uh, less complex. So this is the score 0.68, and the Nature paper had um, 0.55. 
So at the moment, uh, we highlight the um, text. The idea would be to replace that with the link.